I'm in photography and filmmaking for four years now and I'm planning to do this full time. And this is all the equipment that I have. Why don't I need more and why I even don't need that much? Coming up. So next to this I actually have only this cheap tripod for 20 bucks and stuff that you see and nothing else. So if you just started with photography you probably got yourself a decent camera with a kit lens and then you would probably get obsessed with the zoom of the lenses which I did and bought this one. So this is a 75 to 300 millimeter lens, which I planned to use a lot as a street photographer because I saw that like this at the time. I don't now, by the way, and I've planned to use it for my animal photography and wildlife photography in general because I wanted to use this zoom without interrupting, you know, but it turned out that I don't really need it and I've used it a few times other than that, not worth it. So after that, 75 to 300 mm where I was obsessed with the zoom, I quickly realized that I need a lens that would be quicker and I bought this 50mm 1.8 lens and it's amazing. It cost only $100 so it's one of the cheapest lenses and one of the best lenses as well in my opinion because you can open it to 1.8 aperture so a lot of light coming in you can shoot in low light conditions and it's really for everything it's perfect portrait lens because you get that blurred background and it's like for everything I've used it for my travel videos for my film for my for a wedding that I shot for portrait photography Really anything that you can imagine, I've did it with that lens. It will be your favorite lens, believe me, if you don't have it already, link in description. I would buy only this one if I would be buying again, but I really recommend this. Like this is a must have if you're taking photography seriously. After that, that was actually my last lens and then I moved to accessories because I soon realized that lenses are way too expensive for me so I for example bought that cheap tripod from internet I guess from eBay for a buck and a half I believe and it also came for with this adapter for phone so if you want to mount phone on instead of camera tripod for 20 bucks is all I need I don't need like a tripod for hundreds or thousands of dollars which I've used before and the only difference is that pens are smooth. Other than that, hundreds of bucks saved. The camera that I'm using and the camera that I'm actually shooting this on right now is Canon EOS 7D which is actually my only camera that I ever owned and I'm super happy with it. So. From the picture perspective, I need no more than my 7D, but I would like to upgrade my video quality, so for videography, for making films and stuff. So I need video camera, not like another camera, which I already have, so I'm happy with that one. Well, battery grip comes in handy, but only if you're making like long photo shoots or once again if you're shooting videos on your camera so that can come in handy as well as the second battery then a drone I would consider a cheap drone like this for beginners and then upgrade if needed otherwise hundreds of dollars saved so there I have my bag for my camera I fit in my camera one lens and one additional lens as well as some Additional things like additional battery or some props. Another thing that I was hiding back there from the beginning is actually this. The reason why I bought this is 
that I wanted a surface where I would be able to put like things on and take photos of it and looking at it right now I think it's pretty nice like awesome photos can come from this but I actually haven't used it yet and I have it for over a year so I got excited in a store I always get excited when I see it but I never really use it so keep that in mind what when getting accessories like this or this or this or anything because these are little nice things but rarely used so yeah don't spend a lot of money on them if you see cheap props then go for them if you're spending tens or hundreds of dollars and then not worth it probably a second SD card which comes in handy in situations where your main SD card is playing with you some lens caps nothing special so yeah a few bucks there my phone which I use a lot if I don't have camera with me which you know can get bulky so on some short trips or trips where I don't see a lot of potential in photography I don't bring my camera with me just because it's more convenient just to have my phone in my pocket which I have anyway so a Rode mic Rode video mic pro plus which is also great like audio is super important like a lot of people don't realize this but audio is equally important to a video so consider upgrading your mic if you don't have it already so yeah it's an investment If you want to learn even more, make sure to subscribe, check my other videos and please give this video a like, it would really help me a lot. See you on the next one!